All right, so welcome to part two. And inside this video, I really wanted to give you guys a brief detail on why I personally feel, personally feel completely why Titanfall and Destiny is gonna be two of one of the best, two of some of the best top of the line shooter games to ever come out, period. And people are wondering, that I talked to even in person wondering just by me watching gameplay why do I feel so addicted to the game and why I'm why am I hyping these two games up so much to the to the point that it's like I'm for sure these games are going to be good you know some people when it comes to certain things some people are the ones that just have to see it before they really know for example I'm a cook I've been cooking ever since I was 10 years old I'm the kind of cook where I don't have to really measure nothing. I don't really have to taste nothing to know how this tastes marinated with this. I, if I know how this tastes, I know how that tastes. I can put both of those together and don't have to worry about, oh, let me taste it first so I can make sure it's right. If I know how, how much a teaspoon look, I don't have to literally get a teaspoon and pour it inside there and pour it inside. I just, teaspoon. So that's how I am when it comes to gaming as well you know and a lot of other people are like that too like you can see something and know that it's gonna be good it's like it's common sense to some people it's common sense it's like you already know that's gonna be good you know um but some people is like how do you know so I'm here to give ex I'm here to give examples of other games and tell you why certain games become so huge I'm gonna start off with Halo a lot of PS3 and PC fanboys can't stand Halo. They can't stand Halo uh, fanboys. They can't stand Halo fans in general. Even if you're not a fanboy, they can't stand Halo. They just don't understand Halo. Like, they don't understand why Halo is so huge. They don't understand why Halo is so widely played across everywhere online and why a lot of people are always bringing up Halo a lot and stuff. And, you know, they mostly assume that it's little kids that love Halo. No, Halo scales from little kids all the way to older adults. The oldest person I've ever seen that's on my friends list right now that plays Halo is 54 years old. I bullshit you not. So with that said, man, the reason why Halo has been so much of a phenomenal success, especially Halo 3 and even back to Halo 1 and Halo 2 is because when you take a game and you do something different that other games are, is not even doing at all, that what makes something so incredible. It's like if we able to if we ever discover something new like a new animal on the planet Earth or a new element on this Earth or something new it's so phenomenal not because what it is it's so phenomenal because it's something new it's something that we've never seen before if we were to study the stars and we end up finding a planet or finding something that's that we never seen before through the Hubble telescope it's going to be automatically famous and amazing in history because it's something that we never seen before so Halo is one of those examples of something that you've never seen before blue and red uh, armored dudes running around jumping high shooting uh, assault rifles, throwing energy energy grenades onto Warhawks, watching them blow up and stuff like that, hopping on the back of vehicles, flying over jumps and stuff, and sniping people from across the map and stuff, and shooting down your energy shield, hitting you and stuff like that, throwing down a bubble shield, picking up armor abilities and stuff like that. There's no game on earth that plays like Halo. Halo is that game that is just something about it, and it's actually one of my are probably my most favorite online shooter games of all time and I played a lot of shooter games online but Halo feels like an open world game without even being an open world game because you can play the same map literally 500 times in a row 500 times with two zeros five two zero a hundred times in a row in one day and every last one of those times would feel different especially if you're playing big team battle there's so many different things you can do in Halo and there's so many different Oh man, Halo can be serious, Halo can be a comedy, Halo can be uh, a battle, Halo can be uh, a way to fight somebody, really, like literally fight somebody online, like 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 talking back and forth, like nigga I'll fuck you up and stuff like that. It could be a way to do that, it, it could be a way to, to even meet girls and, and flirt and stuff like that. Halo is very diverse. Everybody can pick up, anybody can pick up Halo and play it. That's why Halo has always been a big success. That's why Microsoft was smart and they brought Halo when they when when uh, Bungie first showed off Halo. They didn't show they didn't show it like Microsoft didn't have Halo when Halo first was uh, shown. Halo was meant for PC. Bungie brought that and to put on their Xbox console. I mean, 
Microsoft brought that to put their put that on the Xbox console. A lot of you guys didn't even know that. Um, so that's one game. Killzone, a PS3 exclusive. Killzone is probably the number one played online game on the PS3 still to this day. A lot of people were saying meh about Killzone as well too when the first was coming out. But a lot of people, a lot of like like IGN game traders, a lot of people that, that can get behind closed doors and play these games was already over hyping Killzone. Not really over hyping, but hyping it up because they got to play it and they were so excited about it. They did all kind of midnight uh, parties and, and shows and stuff about it and stuff like that. That's when, whenever something, like I said, when a game do something different, it gets a lot of attention, you know, and it's pretty much almost guaranteed to be a success because it did something different, but not only did it do something different, it did it very well. Gears of War, Gears of Mother Effing War. There's no game, and it's amazing how you can pick out these games like I'm doing right now and say there's no game that play like it. And it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. That's three games in a row that there's no game that play like it, and those three games do it very well. Gears of War does it very well. It does a good job at being a shooter game, but don't play like any other third-person shooter. Gears of War has its own little art style to it, it has its own little weapons. There's no, they don't try to go for an authentic feel when it comes to the weapons. They got a chainsaw at the end of the Lancer. They got a bayonet. They got all kind of digger, digger grenades and smoke grenades, and and even though they got like smoke grenades are inside other games, but. Other games don't have a smoke grenade with a chain hanging off of it where you can swing it and then throw it or stick it to a wall. Just the, just the point that you can stick a grenade to the wall or, or stick it onto a person and watch him like run into the, a crowd of people, that is so different that it's so cool and it's done so well. That's why Epic Games' biggest success is you know, after Unreal Tournament, their biggest success is Gears of War. So back to Titanfall and Destiny. Not only don't no game play like it and looks like it, there might be games that look like it, but just the fact that it's doing it so well, they're taking their time with it, and they're just presenting it so carefully and so wonderfully that you can't even hate on a game. Like, what bad thing can you point out? There's a lot of people that were skeptics that I watched inside podcast and then they went to go play the game and they came out shaking their head with this, this little smirk on their face feeling stupid like yeah I was one of those skeptics out there and I gotta honestly say Titanfall is gonna be a beast I know you guys probably ain't gonna take my word for it but once the game come out you'll see exactly what, what, it, what I'm talking about and people are, were asking the question should we get it for the Xbox One or for the Xbox 360 it's also for PC but people were main conversation Xbox One or Xbox 360 a lot of people said it's a huge, it's a way bigger experience and better experience, bigger, literally, experience on the Xbox One. Better, you know, of course, more power, more deliverance, you know, um, more cushion for the pushing. Um, Destiny. The name speaks for itself, you know. I don't cover games as much as I used to. You know, I used to almost buy every single game. I used to always talk about every single game that's been shown and announced and stuff like that. This is my first time in a long time sitting down inside a video talking about some games. And then when those games launch, I want y'all to come back to this video and pretty much clarify everything I was saying inside this video. I said, I said stuff inside my older videos that got clarified for up, up, to date, up to date games and stuff like that. So it's been a Universal Gamer speaking to you guys about Titanfall and Destiny. If you feel like meh about the game, same thing what people said about um, rise for the xbox one when in my opinion the game looks amazing it's the closest thing to 300 to get video game you can ever get to but people are saying mad about that because they they already played games like skyrim and demon souls and dark souls and they see that game now they see is a sword and a shield and they think well I already played games like that before no you haven't this that game is completely different but anyways you know, I've been talking about Titanfall and Destiny in these last two videos. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Haven't made two videos in a long time talking about one topic, but I just had to. These games are really some juggernauts that's coming out this year. Um, and, well, I think they're both coming out. No, Destiny is coming out next year. So, um, they're going to be really some real giant juggernauts that come out. And you guys are going to see these games are really meant to give the gamer... A real unique experience and no half-assing not saying other games have been half-assing but it's been hard to accomplish and outbeat other games that came out 
before you know like i said the better and better something get the harder and harder it is to beat it so that said you know new gen console when you when you got a stronger uh console you're able to do some better things so they're able to do more now as far as pushing the envelope on stuff that was done before they're able to do more so with that said man it's been the universal gamer speaking to you guys i'm out peace